I just had a chance to check out Trailmakers, a really interesting game about building aerial and ground vehicles. I'm here with Michael, one of the developers in the game. Michael, how's it going? It's going really good. So tell me about Trailmakers. It's a, it's a modular building game about engineering your own vehicles to solve problems and navigate the world. That's exactly what it is. It, it is a vehicle construction game, yeah. modular blocks, much like Lego. Uh, so it's sort of like the idea of when you were a child, you were building a Lego vehicle, and afterwards you dreamt that it actually also drives nicely, and you had things to do with it. In our game, you can build anything; it acts like it should. You have a big world, and inside the big world, there's a lot of obstacles that you need to overcome with the vehicles you make. Um, we have in our game, we have a primary game mode. It's called expedition mode, and inside this world, in, inside this mode. You start at one end of the world and you need to get to the other end of the world. And as you go, you progress, you get new blocks, you uh, find things in the, in the world and, and constantly change up your vehicles. Yeah, so it's not strictly a sandbox game. There is sort of some puzzles that you're encountering along the way. Talk to me about the physics simulation in the game. It's a big part of it. So physics simulation is super, super important. Everything, like how good your vehicle is, is basically based on how the physics works and on what you put together. And uh, we've done a lot to make sure that our vehicles actually behave nicely, that it's fun to drive a car, you actually can have a speed in it if you want. Talk to me about some of the weirdest creations you've seen so far here at PAX or in your development studio. A really cool thing about making a game like this is it seems super simple with like only a few blocks. All of a sudden we've seen people build things that we couldn't even imagine was possible. So this is a really early build that we brought here to PAX as a pre-alpha build. But nonetheless, people have made helicopters, they've made planes, they even made like boats that can go under underwater parts in our levels, and we actually didn't intend the boats to work yet, but they found a way, they found out that wheels were floating, and so they could make huge rafts and uh, just sail, rain, sail around in the environment, so it was awesome. Yeah, you were telling me about some hovercrafts or that people were working on, really cool. So. Uh, this is a multiplayer game as well. What am I going to be able to do with my friends in, in Trailmakers? So in, in Trailmakers, we basically want everything to be social. So, so we want all parts of the game to be multiplayer. So you can play the expedition mode, you can play the sandbox mode in multiplayer if you want. But we also uh, have specific things to do with the specific game modes that are multiplayer. Like the first one we're shipping with is going to be King of the Hill, where we have we have an island that's, that's meant for, for for this game mode, and on that there, there's an, there's a hill, and the player who spends most time on the hill wins. So, so the fun thing here is basically that since our vehicles are all physics based and they can they can be broken apart in the pieces they're made out of, we'll see a lot of fighting on that hill and people pushing each other's vehicles, like making a special things, sort of like robot robot wash ish, like breaking off blocks from each other's vehicles to get them off the hill and so on. So I think that's Cool. Well, it's really interesting. I think the building system, I mean, I was able to jump in and, and build nothing nothing excellent, but I was able to get a vehicle off the ground and moving. That's always encouraging. So, Michael, uh, when are folks going to be able to play Trailmakers? So, Trailmakers is going to come out on Early Access Steam December. Uh, and there we're going to have a large expedition mode. We're going to have multiplayer and uh, some multiplayer modes. Sounds good. We'll look forward to it. Thanks for talking with us.